Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you a fun thing that I learned. Barb emailed me and she said, Frenchie, how can I make an um, envelope with a printed paper going straight? She didn't want it diagnosed. So if you take a piece of designer paper and you cut it, this is, by the way, it's for a regular size card, you know, a four and a quarter by five and a half A2 card. So you need a piece of paper eight by eight. So if you take your paper, cut it eight by eight, this is what you get. So when you make your card with the envelope punch board, um, not your card, your envelope, when you're done, your pattern go diagonal. This is the way it worked because it worked diagonal. So I was like, hmm, I don't have a clue. Well, I play with my paper and bang, I got it. Voila. See, it's my envelope and it is going the right direction. So I get a vertical and um, horizontal and then I figure it out. Um, well, I figured this one out to be honest first. And I said, I don't want stripe. I want it going, you know, like when you're reading, if you get paper with printing. So I'm going to show you both ways. Yes, it weighs a bit of paper. Not really. You can take the paper we're going to cut out and put it on another project, like the card you're going to make to match that uh, uh, paper. First thing you're going to do, I'm using the Soho Subway here. This was the celebration paper. I wanted to have some with writing so you can see. This one here, and we're going to use it that it go this way because that's the way we want it. First thing you want to do on a 12 by 12 paper, printed paper, you want to mark all your four sides at six, right in the center. So take a ruler, mark all your four sides at six. I pre-done this. Now bring your paper cutter and we're going to take one of the mark right here, the six, put it right in the groove where it cut in your track, and then take the other mark at six, put it in the groove in the track where it cut. So we should have both mark right there in the groove where it cut. Close this, you see that point there, it's gonna come away. So this piece here, yes, it is wasted, but like I said, save it, and you can make a lovely card with that. So, now we're going to do the same thing on the fourth side. And this one is very hard to see because it's dark on dark. Okay, so I got my point there, point there. All in the groove. Close this, cut. Let's keep on going till we get all our fourth side done. Like I said, I always love good challenge. Now it's kind of simple because we just take that peak. So put that point there, that point there, and voila. So you get four kind of a triangle piece that you can use in something else. Now we got a square piece that the thing goes sideways, you know? It's a little bit more than eight by eight. So what you're gonna do, just bring this on your paper cutter. It's about eight and a quarter, really. But we need eight by eight. Trim this, and then trim this. Maybe it's an easy way to do this. I don't have a clue. This is what I came up with. So like I said, when it's all made, it's nothing right or wrong. It's all good. So now we get a piece of eight by eight. And for a uh, four and a quarter by five and a half, we need eight by eight, and the first score it's at a three and a, a three and a half. Before we go any further, though, if your paper go, your lines that you want go towards the left, then it's going to be vert um, horizontal. If I would turn it this way, I see my line shoot to the right then it's going to be up and down, vertical. So I want it this way, like when you're reading. So I want my uh, line to go to the left. That it's only on your first score. So I hope I'm not confusing you, but I think you're going to see what I mean. So if it go to the left, 
it's going to be straight right to the left if it's go to the <clears throat> uh, right then it's going to be up and down right up and down left horizontal so i'm going to bring this at three and a half punch and score turn it around just follow your guide now this is your score guide score punch so let's do this quick the four side if i can see where my score is here sometimes i have to fold it depends on the color of the pattern here we go and here we go now let me move this let's fold this 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 and this and yes of course this would go there go down and voila is that awesome it go the perfect way yes i i have to round my um my thing but if you're watching this i'm sure it's not the first time you watch me do an envelope in the back in case if it is in the back you get your rounder corner for your uh, envelope there so you can uh, all around your corner but really to this video it's see how to put the print on the right way then this one here let's say that i want my stripe up and down that's what i would want it's the same thing i would i should have cut this paper i don't want to I got the time so let's do another one quick so I mark this at six so and I know it's this line here this it's well I better do it six because I don't think those line are straight straight I really don't think so six and then let's mark this at six so you're going to see it's very easy to do. It's just the way you're going to cut your paper. Six. Now we're going to bring our board. Go there. Go there. The last one, it's so easy because you just whip it the in the straight line really like this okay see now it go diagonal now remember we want our stripe to go up and down so when you put it you want your line to go to the right if we put it to go to the left then we would have the line this way we want it up and down so we want the writing or whatever going to the right so we go up oh, we have to go at eight remember when we do this it's a little bit bigger than eight inch so we want to shrink this down now at eight this that was eight and then eight i didn't like that corner so i wanted to make that disappear here we go now we got eight by eight. Our writing or our pattern need to go to the right. So it's going to the right at three and a half. Punch, score, punch, score. I think it's a storm coming in because my wrist is so sore. Punch, voila. So now remember, our line should be up and down. So let's check this out here. This, 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 and this. And voila, our lines are up and down. The one that I told you, you know, that I didn't like this one because it was going this way. And I was like, oh, it's not really what she asked. You could always do it this way, you know. But it's cost more money if you mail an envelope this way so now i figure it out remember the lines going to the right is going to be up and down right 
line going to the left, it's going to be vertical, uh, horizontal, like the way you read. So this is it, my friend. I hope you learned something new. I sure did uh, making those envelopes. And now it's no limits. You can have any pattern that you want. You can have diagonal, up and down, sideways. You got it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.